I'm a time-lapse photographer. One of my things I love to do is basically go around shooting landscape and cityscape time-lapses. I started doing time-lapse as soon as I got out of uh, the Navy. I put together a little video package, threw it up on Vimeo, uh, and then I got a call from David Fincher talking about a new project, and that project turned out to be House of Cards. And then from there, it was just making magic. <laughs> Sony just announced the A7R 3 which I think is going to have a lot of professionals really excited, myself included. This is Sony's first professional grade Alpha 7 series camera. It's got a weather sealed body, dual slot SD, longer battery life, touchscreen LCD, and then the 10 frames per second shooting is incredible. I was very fortunate enough to be able to get my hands on the new A7R 3 and go to New Zealand. Let me just tell you, I was so excited to get out there and use the camera, and we were able to capture some incredible sweeping vistas of the landscape. The scenery is just so beautiful out there, and it really lends itself to high-resolution cameras. I switched out from another camera system uh, just because I saw how great the image quality was um, in the Sonys, especially with dynamic range and low light sensitivity. Uh, when it comes to time-lapse photography, you want to be able to have both of those elements to be able to pull out the shadows and the mid-tones and the highlights. And Sony had all of that. It's just been a dream come true uh, in the time-lapse world. Being able to shoot 42 megapixel uh, shots at high speed uh, is, is fantastic. I think a bigger battery is important for someone who shoots time-lapse um, just for the fact that you want to be able to shoot longer periods of times. And with this, we were shooting over two days and three to four shots, which would be about 2,200 to 3,000 frames, which is fantastic. Dual card slots, especially for time-lapse, is really important because if the card's already filled up, um, especially in time-lapse, you want to be able to have a backup system that's already ready to go, shooting, firing away. Um, capturing those frames, otherwise you miss the moment um, and it's gone. Using the A7R 3 out in New Zealand, uh, it was really a robust system to use, especially with our time-lapse setup. We were using a six-foot slider with a motion control head, so it allowed us to do three-axis motion control moves. It's not just for time-lapse photography, it's also for video and photo together. My overall experience with the A7R 3 has been phenomenal. The image quality that came off of it was astounding. Uh, it was super sharp, the colors were amazing, and it was very easy to use.